Okay, I'm going to do one more tutorial real quick, boys and girls, about uh, um, head morphs. Because I just did the one that had the, the head and the body morphs. So now we'll do one just to complete it because it's I'm one of those people. I'm, I'm, I'm anal retentive. I got that. It's, <laughs> I, I, I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to this sort of thing. Okay, so real quick, real quick. So, head morphs. So what you do, you're going to follow the same basic procedure that we did, just did on body morphs. And hopefully you saw that one. Uh, we'll start off with a, with some morph process. So you find something that you want to create the morph from. So we, we're got we're here with this character. I'm trying to find some particular morph that I want to use. That's just very extreme. These are all showing the bodies and not the heads. Uh, all right, let's show the head then somewhere in here. There's an actor. There's a full actor somewhere. Notice how prepared I am for this. Uh, let's come down here. Come on. Where are the characters? Oh, here we go. All right, so Ertz. I'm trying to find somebody extreme here. Percy's good, but uh, go back. Somebody really extreme here. I got so many people. Oh, yeah, here we go. All right, now, uh, George. Oh, yeah, this guy. How about this guy? This guy's an old guy. Well, uh, whatever this guy is. Floyd. There we go. Floyd. Okay, I'm going to turn dial up dial up Floyd to 100%. Give us all right. So now we got a Floyd morph. Now again, just like before, you had to export your base. Um, in this particular case, it's a Generation Eight uh, male character. You have to have that base. So we're going to export this one. We're going to call this. Uh, uh, we're going to spell Floyd. Floyd uh, head. This is going to be eventually be his head. We're exporting the whole body because you really don't have a choice. You have to do the whole thing here. But we're going to start off with uh, with exporting Floyd, and then we're going to bring him in here through Transformer. And again, this is going to be the whole thing, but we're we're eventually going to end up with just with just the head. I used to do a play. I had a head. That's very useful. Um, anyway, so we're going to do just the head. I'm not concerned about uh, you know mapping any textures or anything. I just want to get the head. Okay, so now there's Floyd's head. Okay, you can see my Floyd. <clears throat> nice kind of weird old head. Um, this would be a useful morph to apply to some characters. You would never apply it 100% because you could just use the Floyd character. But you might want to use the Floyd head in combination with another body or something else. So how do we do that? Well, if we go up to create a morph, we're going to end up with the whole thing. It's going to have the body too. We don't want that. What we want is just the head. To do that, you have to use character. Uh, you have to use iClone in relationship to character creator as well. So we go here. We go to export. We're going to send the um, character to iClone. So I'm going to switch over to iClone, and we have it over. I can't move it while it's it's in my other monitor. While it's moving the character over. Okay, there we go. So there's Floyd over here. So now we got Floyd in iClone. Okay. So now we go to content here, and we go. We get the avatars here. And we're going to go to the head content, and that's where we'll go ahead and save Floyd's head. Oh, actually, no, we want to create a new one. There we go, Floyd. And it's probably best to get a nice big close-up of his head so that you can get a nice thumbnail so you can see what you actually have there. So there's Floyd's head, more or less. I don't know why the thumbnails aren't exactly perpendicular. Okay, Floyd's head. We got Floyd's head. Yay! You say, now what good is this doing? Well, now we go to here. We're going to bring in the Gen 8 male. Where is it? Somewhere in here. I'm not seeing it, folks. Sorry, I'm going to make this quick, and I'm not seeing it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm going to drag over the Gen 8 male avatar and just drop it in here. I don't care about this. And... Okay, there's a Jenny mail. I'm going to apply Floyd's, Floyd's head to it, okay? This is because if you follow this process through, in Daz, there's no way to separate the head out from the body. So now, in essence, that's what we've done. We've separated. This is the Gen 8 male body, but now it's got Floyd's head on it. So how does that work for us? Well, now what we do is we go to Modify, and we go, we send this character back to Character Creator. We're going to load the avatar and not save this one. So now in Character Creator... We have the ideal base morph, which is basically a Gen 8 male with Floyd's head on it. So now we can go save this as an avatar. Always have to use avatars because that's the only thing you can use to create morphs. 
and Floyd head. That's fine. And so now we can go to create new more slider. Notice we don't have to. It doesn't. It doesn't matter what character is there. We'll call it Floyd head. It's going to be in the head category. Okay. Da, da, da. The base file is always going to be the base of whatever that thing was. Remember, this is Gen 8 base. I'm always just blown right by that. Gen 8 base, and then the avatar's Floyd head. Okay, right? Bingo, bango, bongo. Now we have a Floyd head avatar. It's not going to change the body any, so no matter what body we have. So if we go here to a new project, uh, the other way would change the whole body into Floyd's body. But So now it's only going to change the head, and you can prove this. This is the female. Sorry, I'm going to give you nightmares, but we're, we're going to put Floyd's, Floyd's head on her. So I'm in the head category, uh, and there's Floyd, Floyd head. So now if I go here, and adjust, you'll notice the body isn't changing at all when I do that. Okay. So we're going to zoom in on the head, so you can see. This is, and this obviously will work a lot better with men because uh, the, the men here. But there's Floyd's head. So you can, you know, you can either make a very ugly woman out of it. I don't know what you could do, but that's, but there, but, but Floyd's head would be very useful in combination with, uh, you know, with other um, particular modifications, other avatars, and you could create a lot of different ones. That's without doing the body. So you separated the body from the head, and you could do the same vice versa. You know, if you if you have one that's changing the head and the body, you could do exactly what we did in reverse. Just make the head a standard eight. Male and then put the body in and then you're then you're fine that way. Do I have to show that? I guess I can show that. All right, all right. now I'm not gonna show. You can figure it out. Let me know if you need me to show it. I'll be glad to show. <laughs>